guys, what's going on? Hi, dude. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. What's going on? Happy Monday. So cool. Awesome. So, um, really, really quick uh, before I get started, um, can we pin up some of the people that actually just recently took my class? This weekend, I'm gonna pin you guys up, um, celebrate you guys uh, for your time with me. Thank you guys. I know it was a really long class. I, I swear to, like, I swear to you. I try to actually keep class between four to five hours. Six hours is just outrageous. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or where I'm f***ing up, but something's happening where class is like longer than it normally should be. But either way, I, I had an absolute blast with you guys. Um, I could honestly say I didn't even notice the time, um, nor was I tired being with you guys, which means that you guys were so fun, you guys were so interactive and engaging, um, and it made teaching you guys and being with you guys um, actually enjoyable. Um, so I do want to thank each and every one of you guys um, as well. It was like 40 of you guys, but unfortunately, um, I cannot pin 40 people here, or else we're going to be here for, uh, like uh, forever. So please, no more people, no more people. All right, I'm starting to see like a bunch of people getting popped up. Again, like I said, there's like 40 people in this class. I know all of them are in here right now, um, but it just just does like we just cannot pin 40 people um, and expect to have class. Have, have this thing, uh, you know, uh, unless we're gonna be here for, until like 11 o'clock tonight. All right, uh, Deborah, how are you? Ah, she's my angel um, from class. It was so fun. Um, so sweetheart, how was your time with us? Um, tell me about your experience um, with me in the past two days. Oh, it was just absolutely fabulous. And it was easy. <laughs> no, learn so much. And your uh, your teaching sky style is just fabulous. And everybody was great. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. And what was the biggest takeaway that you feel like you got from the class? The biggest takeaway would be that uh, just how, how marvelous it can be to help other people and to work with other people and to see how it can lead to other things. Uh, awesome, yeah. So I'm a huge believer of group economics, right? I don't believe that we as one person can accomplish the great things in our lives that we want to accomplish in our lives. The way that I like to explain it is, okay, I could invest a million dollars into something and I'll get, I'll get good returns, right? But then what if I were to you know, invest a hundred million dollars, not just invest by myself, but invest with a hundred different people, a million dollars from a bunch of people, what would my returns look like then? A lot larger, right? Um, so I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of um, group economics. So yes, absolutely. Working with people is definitely a shortcut to success. So I love that. Ken, what was your takeaway this weekend? Oh, really quick. Okay, yeah, continue, I'm sorry. Yeah, so new to affiliate marketing and, uh, you know, I learned a lot, took lots and lots of notes. I think that, uh, you know, what I took away was confidence and um, confidence that, that I can do this. And uh, it's just a matter now of being um, competent. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to in the training coming up. And it's uh, lots of energy with everybody in the uh, on the team. And um, it's just been a, a wonderful two days going through the training and, you know, just learning everything that uh, that you were able to pass on. All right, that's awesome. So I want to remind you that confidence and competency um, is kind of hand in hand, right? You don't have confidence if you're not competent, correct? So, so for you to develop confidence, the first step, right, would be to be competent in that thing. So look at like, the same exact analogy with driving, right? With driving, right? It wasn't until you were competent at driving and that's when you built the confidence, all right? So the confidence isn't gonna come first. However, for you to get to that step, it's all it takes is repetition. Once you found a winning formula, you just keep repeating that thing over and over and over and over again, and then you'll see the results. In fact, that's kind of something that we're gonna be talking about today. So, uh, it's kinda cool, all right? Um, repetition. Awesome, thank you so much, Ken. I appreciate you so much. I'm John! What's going on? How are you? How are you? What were some takeaways that you got from this weekend's class? Uh, uh, yeah, I thought, um, you know, the role playing was really good, right? So I know um, the young guy, I can't remember his name. You know, he might not have a lot of experience, but it, it's good for him just to... Aiden. Aiden? Yeah, so it's good for him just to get that experience and kind of see how that works. But that's going to come in time. So just, you know, the role play is always good. Give people opportunity to kind of get out there a little bit, get out of their comfort zone. Um, so that I thought that was really the, the spot that um, that was great. All right. Yeah, I, um, I, for me personally, I absolutely love role playing. Um, like for me, that's kind of one of my favorite parts of the class. The reason why is because everyone's jaw like drops. They're like, oh, shit, I'm really bad at this thing. And then everything that I've been preaching 
you know, for the past, you know, however many hours, it just it comes full sense. It's just like, oh, okay, well, this is what Junior meant that this should be my focus because, okay, if I have all these leads or I acquire all these leads, then none of it means anything. All right, so I absolutely love that. Um, thank you so much for that, man. Um, Bruce, what's going on? This is like the funniest guy. Like the whole entire class, I've been trying to like not laugh. Like he's been saying the outrageous shit. I'm just like, all right, we're gonna have to kind of keep Bruce like to the side of my screen so I don't look at him because he's fucking funny. Like these comments and the fucking emojis, I've never seen these. How the fuck do you get these emojis? Like the entire class, I'm like these emojis. I'm just like, I can't be looking at these things. All right, but anyways, tell me about your experience in the class. How was it for you? Um, it was really good. I, I, I was amazed how intuitive you are when that person, uh, to me, she she had this funny look on her face, and, and I don't know what was going on, but you figured it out. It's like, whoa. And then the hypnotic rhythm, that that just mind-blowing for me. It just, whoa. And, and I freaked out. When you when you put uh, thirty five thousand US, I went all oh, crap, and I I went into the fear section, <laughs> and the train got me back. Okay, uh, but, but I want you to notice this, right? Do you see how easy it was for you to just go back to what you're used to? That's what I mean by hypnotic yeah. rhythm, right? It, it's built in. It's, it's built like, in, and, yeah. and 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 unfortunately, like, the worst part is. And, and this is what I tell people, like, if you do not even know, like, like how I told you, it's like opening the Pandora box, right? And I, I specifically said, hey guys, I don't want to teach you guys this because if I teach you guys this, you're going to probably hate me for it for the rest of your life because now you could only blame yourself for your own failures, right? And it's just like, uh, but then I feel like I have to because it's just like, like, you do. yeah, it's like now you're aware and it's just like, you know, even like you or, or even like me before, like we never really understand why we fail at things. We never really understand why things just don't go our way. But then it's just like, now we're putting it in this perspective. It's just like, okay, it's kind of clear why things don't go our way. We see exactly why. We see how we create our own outcomes. Um, and at the end of the day, it fucking sucks, right? But it's, it's good, right? It's, it's good if you could, if you could uh, find a way to, um, you know, operate in a way where you can actually attract those things. But yeah, um, that training for me, it's, it's, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite part because I get PTSD every time I, I go over it. I'm just like, yeah, I remember when I was taught this. I wish I didn't learn it. How many, how many of you guys, by the way, uh, be honest, all right, be honest. How many of you guys that took my class uh, this weekend by Wiggle of Hands, how many of you guys are like, Junior, I love the fucking training. I like, I love that, the hypnotic rhythm thing, but I kind of wish you kept it to yourself. Just a little bit. How many of you guys feel that that way? Come on, I know it's not just me, right? Yeah, exactly, because it's just like, okay, damn, I'm creating my own, my own reality. Like, I, I, this is what I'm doing to myself, all right? And it's, it's easier for us to say, hey, no, Tara, you did this to me. Tara, you, you know, you made my life harder. It's easier for me to, to say that. Then for me to sit down and say, well, Junior, you fucked your life up because of your choices and your beliefs and your decisions and your actions. And I, it, it's hard. I mean, who wants to do that? It, wiggle your hands if, if you want to admit that shit. Wiggle your hands? Great, no one's hands was wiggling. Oh, Tara, you wanna admit that? All right, awesome. All right, so cool. No, my hands are not wiggling. I do not like admitting that, all right? Tara, so that now that you're here, uh, what is the takeaway that you had from this weekend um, when you were in class with me? The biggest one I had was my beliefs are my reality. That one hit really hard because right. I realized I do it. I do that. Like I tell myself, oh, this is what's happening. So this is how it's going to be. And I really need to snap out of that, you know, because I, I, I used to visit negative town a lot and I'm really trying to be on the positive train. So I get it. Yeah. I want to be in the positive part of the world. It's a lot brighter here, you know? It's like sunnier and not so gloomy. <laughs> um, but um, so so so, how would you like if today I just speak about belief? Would that would that be cool for you? That would be great. Yeah. All right. So today I, I promise you guys that's what my class is gonna be about. It's gonna be so fun, and you guys are gonna um, I'm gonna teach you guys something completely brand new. Um, I'm Winnie Seahart. What's going on? Hi. How are you? I'm so excited. So how was your class with me this weekend? Oh, yes, this is awesome. Well, I would say my take is, you know, um, the uh, conscious. And when you when you asked about who, what number would you be, and you and I said two. And then when you started talking, and you're like, mm, I said, tag, I'm not. I'm number. I'm one. Um, just kind of knowing more, more or less, like 
where my knowledge is at. I knew like getting into computers and all that stuff. Trust me, Trang and um, a few of the other girls, they, they already know. I've really, really tried to work it out. I felt like that lady um, who spoke last night and she was saying computers was like evil. Like, no, I don't want to deal with it. So that's where I came from too. So, But I knew that, you know, I've been out of work. So it's like... Um, I need another, I need another source of income. I need more than just one, you know, I like put all my eggs in one basket and, you know, um, I do plumbing for a living. So I'm thinking I'll, I'll last forever doing this. I got a skill. I could do this all the time. And then you get hurt. I don't think about getting hurt. And then you get hurt and it's like a whole nother story. Listen, I used to do construction. Uh, so I, I totally get that. And when I first started, um, cause my first job was, um, well, technically speaking, my first job was at my high school. Um, I was one of those kids that would, okay, I'm not going to talk about me in high school. All I'm going to say is that, um, I wasn't the best student. However, um, I, 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 I geeked out in specific thing. Okay. Can I be honest with you guys? Can I? Yeah, sure. Cool. All right. So, so I smoked a lot of weed in high school and, and, and I was just fucking lazy as shit. So for me, I've always been like a smart lazy. Like, okay, what is the fastest way for me to get this result without me having to break my ass and, and do a bunch of other things? And at the end of the day, like I knew that I just wanted to graduate, right? So when everyone else had like their curriculums and stuff like that, do this, do this, do this, do this. And um, what I did um, in my high school was I, like I just did, like I passed only the classes that I was supposed to pass. And I didn't even pass them with A's or B's. I passed them with C's. Like, just bare minimum, right? I was a horrible student. Again, like I said, horrible student. I passed them bare minimum. I do not recommend this for anybody, by the way. All right? Do not do this. All right? So I passed my class with bare minimum C's. And then for, like, all the other classes, like, art and, and fucking Spanish. And uh, I had to learn Chinese one year, too. I was just like, yo, this is not a fucking waste of my time. So instead, what I did was I got kicked out of those classes just because I, you know, I, I can act like an ass sometimes. So I got kicked out of those classes. And because I got kicked out of the classes, the teachers didn't want me in a class. I kind of had to pick up other classes. And I did that for uh, my first two years um, in, in high school. And then I was able to uh, pretty much have all my credits by the end of 11th grade. So by 12th grade, I didn't have to go to school anymore. So they paid me to come to school because you have to meet a certain amount of days in the year for you to graduate. So they had to pay me to go to school. So that was my first job, side note. Um, my second job was uh, working seasonal for UPS. How many of you guys ever worked for UPS? Seasonal, like one of those truck loaders? Ah, Sherry, you feel my pain, sweetheart. Oh, gosh, Sherry. Listen, trauma, all right? Guys, again, I, I used to live in New York, so it's super freaking cold and I would you know, do it for the Christmas season. So like, like I would be in these big trailer trucks, like trying to move these boxes like this. Like I can't even feel my fingers. I'm trying to lift these boxes. Like it is like so horrible. Um, and then when I got into construction, um, drywall taping, I was just like, yo, this is the best gig ever. I ain't gotta do shit. I ain't gotta be freezing my butt off. And I was like so happy with being able to make a $10 raise every year until I fell off a scaffold, injured myself. And I was just like, this shit ain't worth it. So I, I, I totally get that. Um, and also when you fall like about 10 feet, un, like, like imagine standing on something and then the floor just caves in on you. And you're just like in the middle of doing something, you're just like, just dropping. Just like, yeah, I'm, I'm over this. I'm, I'm not here for that. So I totally, totally, totally get that. Um, I'm so excited that you're here. Um, I know that you're gonna um, absolutely uh, learn so much. And, and you know, uh, one of the greatest things that you also said was, um, the thing about learning, a lot of us, we don't know how to learn, right? And that's like, if I could say it, that's the thing that, that stops most of us. Because Winnie, where you mentioned you were number two, or you thought that you were number two, can you see where you could have, you could, you, you were creating your own problems just by believing that you, 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 you thought you had a winning formula, but you didn't. And then, okay, great. You follow that formula and it's going to take you nowhere. Right? And then after that, then you get frustrated, you get defeated and you just quit or you find some other shiny object. And then it's just a cycle that just keeps to yourself. So yeah, absolutely love that. Thank you so much again, Winnie. Um, I appreciate you for being here. Uh, thank you so much uh, for sharing that as well. Um, Jesse, last but not least, Jesse, what's up my brother? How are you? I'm good, Anthony. How are you doing? I'm feeling fantastic. What about you? Feeling great. Glad to be here again. So happy. Yeah.
So what is the takeaway that you had from class this weekend? I have two big takeaways. My first one is just the skills you need in order to like, you know, do affiliate marketing. One that really stood out for me was like human psychology. That was actually um, insane. Like I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really think about that. Just like human psychology and body language and all of that. That was amazing to really find out. And definitely the hypnotic rhythm. That was right. that would, like the belief. After the call, I like went back and started thinking about my whole life. But like, you know, like, why did why did Gina do this to me, man? Now, nah, now nah, I gotta be thinking about it. I told you guys. I literally warned you guys. I said, hey, I'm going to share something with you that is go it's like Pandora box. If you open it, you cannot close it. I, I I told you guys. I am completely okay if you want to leave here now before I go over this. Because, geez, if I knew what I was gonna learn, I would not have stayed to learn that crap. This is like, I could like, it's like being able to know the moment that you're going to die. Like no one's going to want to ever know the moment they're going to die. So it's just like, fuck. It was, okay. it was really, it was good and bad at the same time. Cause it got me thinking about how it's so much easier to like be more, you know, cause you know, like your beliefs is what you attract. So it was, it, it was really amazing. It definitely woke me up. So appreciate it. No worries, man. I'm happy that I could help, bro. All right, so someone pinned Kevin, so I guess we have to do one more. But I like Kevin. Kevin was the most interactive, engaging person in the class. He was my devil yesterday. Kevin, what's up? How are you? Yeah. yeah, how's it going? How was class for you? How was class for you? What is one takeaway that you got from us yesterday? So the, uh, what I took, the class was good. Like, I, you know, the reason that I was doing so well is because I felt like I had the devil on my shoulder the whole time because i was thinking man i have gotten like two thousand dollars to get a, a spiel i like, could get a, a pitch to get marketed to again and it's like yeah and so like i loved it but i hated it and i, I really felt up two two minds about the whole thing but uh right but i, I really like the everything that you pointed out when you started with the uh, uh the affiliate stuff and doing the and and, uh, and you know having an Amazon link. Like I have an Amazon affiliate account. I've made some money on there, but I've just not been doing it in a in a meaningful, intelligent, strategic way. So I was very happy for that. So you were able to learn how I was how I was able to do it as well from even attending the class too, correct? Or even learn a better way to do it, correct? Yes. So that's awesome. All right. Amazing, 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 amazing. All right, awesome. So um, what we're going to cover today, guys, is um, something that I call um, my belief stack. This is my belief stack. This is, it doesn't have to be your belief stack, um, but it's mine. Okay. Um, these are the beliefs that, so everyone has free will. How many of you guys have free will? Will your hands? Great. So we all have free will, meaning that we all have a choice of what we we want to believe okay and it's just really really interesting um because there's three beliefs that um, i believe that i've used or i've i've held on to that has allowed me and has helped me change my life so the first belief if it is if someone else has 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 done this thing already if someone else has done it so can i how many of you guys believe that with your hands my second thing in my belief stack is if one, then one million. And the third thing in my belief stack is just because it hasn't been done before doesn't mean that it's impossible. And I'm gonna explain these things to you guys. I'm gonna take you guys through, um, through this belief stack and I'll, I'll, I'll cover um, all these things that you know, I've experienced th throughout my time here um, on this earth and, and why I have these, these belief stacks and, and what they mean to me. Sounds cool. So um, we're going to cover um, one thing, which is repetition. Um, and the second thing is, of course, obviously belief. All right. If someone else has done it, um, so can I. Um, a lot of people, we sit down and we just have this, this belief of, okay, just because somebody else did it, that doesn't mean I can do it. How many of you guys have that belief? Wiggle your hands. Be honest. That belief is something that I used to have as well. I used to think that people were better than me. Like I used to think that, and, and just by even saying that statement, it, it ultimately means that you believe other people are better than you. I used to think people were better than me. I thought that, and I told you guys already, black guy, dreads, okay, I thought that, you know, if this person was successful, like for instance, when I used to do Cutco, um, like we had a, a manager who was like an Indian guy, 
in my in my opinion, well, he, the only reason he's there is because he probably has money, or probably because he's better than me, or he's older than me, or whatever the case is. I always thought that like it wasn't ever me; it was just someone who's better than me. And I that, like I, I've I've literally stopped myself from being great. How many of you guys feel like you stopped yourself from being great by just having these thoughts with your hands? So I want to cover a few um, examples for you guys, and some of you guys already heard these examples. When I first got started in ClickFunnels, right, with ClickFunnels, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Like, I kid you guys not. I was on YouTube Googling for an answer. What is the difference between domain names and hosting? Like, I didn't even know what a domain name was. I just heard these terms being thrown around. I'm like, what the hell is the difference, right? And when I went Googling for this stuff, I seen an ad. I seen an ad by Russell Brunson and ClickFunnels. And in this ad, he was introducing a bunch of people to a stage, like he was holding up these, these awards, uh, like this Two Comma Club Award, and I was just like, like what the hell is this thing? I was like, like what the hell is that thing, right? And then, like I kept watching it. It was like a, probably a two, three minute ad. I kept watching it, and I kept watching people after people after people walking on the stage. And then at the end of this ad, he said, we had, this year, we had over 300 people collect our two comma club award. What is a two comma club award? It is given to entrepreneurs that's able to make over a million dollars using our software. My jaw dropped. I was like, I can't even fucking make a hundred dollars and there's these people making a million dollars? How many of you guys feel that? Wiggle your hands. Like I could barely make a thousand dollars and there's these people walking around making a million dollars like like it's nothing, like it's cotton candy. Right? And immediately, immediately, my body wanted to reject it. I wanted to reject it. This is not real. This is just these scams, these online scams. This is fake. They're just trying to sell me something. It's just this, it's just that. I wanted to say that. So you know what I did? I went on reviews and forums to try to find something to disprove what I thought, what, what they were saying. Because you know what? People can't be making that much money. How many of you guys believe that? Look at your hands. Like, people can't be making that much money. Wiggle your hands. Like, not, probably not right now, but how many of you guys, before you either got into this community or around us, how many of you guys actually, like, people cannot be making that much money. Like, this is a, it has to be a scam, it has to be fake, it has to be, you know, they're just trying to, trying to sell me some shit. Guys, again, I was just like you guys. So I sat down and I thought about all those things. I was trying to find other people to justify my feelings. Yeah, come on. I need some more people to tell me that that's not real. That, that's actually not the truth. But I sat down and I said, you know what? How many of you guys ever watched the movie 300? Move your hands. You guys all know what I'm about to do, right? Yeah, because I've been doing this for like however long, right? So how many of you guys ever watched the movie 300? You know the one? This is Sparta, right? Like 300 people, that's a army if 300 people could be successful in one thing 